Hey guys, Hacks for Tech here for another video tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download torrents to your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch using a, a couple applications I found and a service that I found as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you which applications you're going to need, how to get them, and I'm going to show you guys uh, why you should get this. So let me go ahead and go and open up my video folder here. Alrighty, so here's the first application you're going to need. It's iDownloader Pro. It's a program uh, or an application that's going to allow you to download media files to your iPad or iPhone. Um, that includes movies, music, all that kind of stuff. The second one you're going to need is Azul Media Player, which is basically the VLC media player of the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, that kind of thing. So it can actually play almost any media file, movies, music, all that stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get it. Let's go ahead and go to our app store here. And let's go ahead and search for iDownloader Pro. Then I'm going to go ahead and click there. Okay, so you can see that here that on the iPhone and on the iPad, they actually have two versions of this application. They have a free version and a pro version. So the free version is the same thing as the full version, except with the free version you do have a download limit. Um, there is a way around that if you use the free version. I believe if you uh, delete your files when you're done with them, um, as long as you haven't downloaded a certain amount onto the hard drive, um, then you can keep using it. Otherwise, there is a limit. Um, but for the f for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get iDownloader Pro. So um, this is the application here. And then, of course, this is a screenshot of what it's going to look like. It's an in-browser application that allows you to download files on your iPad. I'm going to go to my search bar now and search for Azul Media Player. That's A-Z-U-L Media Player. And then it's going to bring up this little page here. If I click on that, this is what the media player looks like. Uh, it's just like the uh, media player that's default on your phone or your iPad. So it's pretty nice. Uh, it plays almost any file that you throw at it. So it's a really, really nice application to have. Uh, just a little bit of information for you. I downloader Pro. I believe that one is about two bucks, and this application I believe is about three to four dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my home screen here, and go to my video folder. Let's go ahead and open up I downloader so we can see what it looks like. Uh, you can see that when you open the application, there are a few tabs at the bottom. There's a browser, downloads, files, and settings. So in the browser part, you can actually go and browse to any site, and you can download files. Um, you have your download section, so you can see what you've downloaded or what's currently downloading. And then you can see your files, so that's what you've already downloaded. And then, of course, you have your settings as well. You can set a password if you want, clear, finish, downloads, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and go back to the browser. And the first thing that we want to do is find the torrent or file that we want to download. So if I go into my search bar here, I can search for what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for house. Let's go ahead and type in house. And then the first little link here from the Pirate Bay, I'm going to click on that. And of course, this is what you would usually see. Um, so you could actually go here and click download, and that's how you would usually download the torrent. In this particular case, since it's not on a computer, it's on an iDevice, you want to go to your browser address bar here, and you want to copy that address bar, the URL. So once you've copied that, you can go to your Google here, and you can search for Terrific, T-O-R-R-I-F-I-C. If I click there, it's going to open up this page, and I can click on the first link for Terrific, and that's going to bring you up to the home page. And you can see it's pretty simple. You are going to need an account, so the first thing you would want to go to, uh, go to do here is click Sign Up. And then all you have to do is put in your email and password. That's it. Pretty simple sign up process. And once you've signed up, you can log into your account. And then this is what you're going to see. Um, of course, I've got some downloads uh, already processing, uh, but you would see just a blank little uh, screen here. So basically, how it works is you take the URL of any torrent and you type it into the address bar here. So I can go ahead and paste in that URL that I just got. And. Uh, once you've done that, you go to the Git button here, click Git, and then it actually opens up that site within Terrific. And then you can go down to the little download section for the torrent. So I can click Download this torrent, and it brings up this thing here. So all the files that are within that torrent are going to come up. And if you click Initiate BitTorrent Transmission, 
it actually starts processing those files. Now in this case, that's a lot of files, so it's probably not going to do that. However, with smaller torrents, and depending on what the size of the torrent is, it's either going to have little blue links here for you to download, or it'll start processing the download, and it'll give you an email when they're ready to download. So if I go to my home page here, these are the torrents that I've already started to process that have already finished. And it'll actually show you the status here on your right-hand side as to whether or not you can download them. So if I go to the first one, I can go ahead and demonstrate to you how it's going to work. Um, for you, when it's ready, you're going to see a blue link to the file. And the nice thing about this is that within each of the torrents, say you have a season of a show, you can download each of them individually so that you don't have to get all the files you don't need. So if I click on that, it's going to process and ask me to download it. I can click the download button and name it whatever I want, click OK. And then you can see here at the very bottom, it has a little section for downloads. You can see that there's one in the queue. So if I click there, you can see that here is my download that's processing. And once it's done, it's going to go into my file section. Um, now that download, of course, isn't done. But I have one for demonstrational purposes uh, that I'm going to show you today. So I got a little movie here. If I wanted to uh, open that up, of course, like I said before, this uh, particular application doesn't have a lot of support for media files, so I'd want to click on that and open it within a new application. Now, there are all kinds of different apps that will play media files, but Azul is the best that I've found. So if you click Open In, I select the one that I want to open the, uh, the movie into, so I'll click Azul. And once it's done loading that, it's going to open it up to the loading window for Azul Media Player. And you can see here the little movie file or media file that, you're, that you just downloaded is now open within the application, ready to play. You've got your play button, you can rewind and fast forward, and you've got your done button. Um, really nice application. Of course, when you click done, that takes you back to the home screen. So here are some movies that I've imported from iDownloader Pro, uh, Movies and Shows. And you can click on any of these, and it's going to open it up within this particular application and play them. So um, that's primarily what this is for. However, just a little quick note, if you guys choose to, or if you don't want to pay for both of them, or use both of them, if I go to Features here, it'll actually open an in-app browser just like iDownloader Pro. So you can download applications and uh, movies and files within this particular application. The only disadvantage here is that you do have to have the device on at all times, otherwise the download will fail. Um, so that's pretty much why I use iDownloader. If I go to my settings here, um, scroll down, there's one little thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, of course, you have the option to turn on passcodes and all that kind of stuff, um, but the one unique feature to this application that's really, really nice if you're using, uh, if you want to output the video that you're watching to a TV or something like that, for instance, uh, they do have TV out support within Azul Media Player. So if I click this little button here, if I'm connected to a TV with any kind of cable, it'll display that video on the television set. So that's a really nice feature for you guys. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The two applications are iDownloader Pro and Azul Media Player. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.